Welcome back to the Zero playthrough of Mega Man X4. In this part, we're going to be taking on Mavericks. But instead of taking on Web Spider, I'm going to change things up a little bit. Instead, I'm going to be taking on Magma Dragoon because the weapon he gets from Dragoon is pretty damn useful. Of course, this traitor needs to confess his sins. After all, he dropped an entire Sky Lagoon on a bunch of civilians. So yes, he has a lot to answer for. Ready. So, we once again start off with the usual stage. However, here's the thing. The stages with Zero is pretty much the same with the exception of one thing. First of all, you don't have to worry about Dr. Light capsules. Zero cannot get any of them. Instead, the only thing you have to worry about is heart tank sub tanks and not getting hit by meteors. That is really annoying. Then again, I am in an area where uh, meteors will rain down. Anyway, the only other thing that uh, you will have to worry about as far as Zero is concerned, quite frankly, is the sub tanks and the weapon tanks and the heart tanks. That's basically it. Oh, and the EX tank. And to be perfectly honest with you, you don't really need a weapons tank. Because the only weapon that actually takes um, weapon energy, it can actually regenerate as Zero gets damaged. So yeah, a weapon tank is pretty much worthless in this, in, in this run. But I'm still getting it anyway for 100%. Anyway, another thing I forgot to mention, if I haven't already mentioned in the first one, that is. Oh, in part one, sorry. Why is it first one? I'm thinking of Bayonetta. Anyway, Zero cannot air dash. Not unless he gets a secret, oh no, a special weapon in order to do so. And that won't be for a couple of parts. But anyway, Zero cannot air dash. Instead, you have to actually air dash, or dash jump, actually at the ledge in order for you to get the heart tank and since Zero's a higher jumper than X he can actually pull it off that and he has bigger hitboxes as you can wholeheartedly see so yeah uh, expect death it's going to happen especially in this run I'm sorry if it may seem like I suck, but let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I am reckless when it comes to the X games. And to the Mega Man games in general. But, if you could see in the uh, time elapsed, I still get the job done regardless. Anyway... Uh... With Zero, you could take the uh, high road because it's the higher jumper, but it's best you take the low road with the uh, mech. Because after all, the mech can be taken into battle against Dragoon. And speaking of which... Zero? It's really you! Why do you betray us? It's me, Austin! It was me all along! Yes, I just used a Vince McMahon reference and I have no shame. So let's go on ahead and beat your goon. If you have the, um. If you have the mech, by all means, use it to try to take off as much damage as you can. And here's the thing I've already mentioned in part one the Mavericks do not have, uh, weaknesses. Like, oh, no, most of them do not have weaknesses. They have skills. Damn it! I should have moved. Ready. Uh, what I was trying to say was, most of the Mavericks here have weaknesses, and then again, some of them don't. Mad Dragoon is one of those Mavericks that do not have a weakness, like, talking about it. And if you do, you have to actually beat Slash Beast to get it. Which is the Air Dash. Which is pretty sad and pathetic to say the least. Oh, damn. But when uh, Magma Dragoon, as you can see, do that uh, fireball attack, and you gotta try to avoid the Shoryuken. Oh, and as you can see, I also cut 
And there's a good reason why, because I kind of die about a couple more times, as you can see by the zero. Anyway, just make sure you avoid the Hadoukens and Shoryukens, and if Magma Dragoon goes to one side, he has a hitbox available where you could actually just constantly spam the sword. Oh shit, that was close. And you could just wail on him with the sword. As you can see, you just press uh, forward a couple of times along with the square. And you'll be doing an infinite slash combo. And you'll take out enemies really quick. Anyway, I wanted to defeat you. Then he appeared. He, he who? Who do you think, Zero? He told me he'd give me power. Only if I worked for the Repla Force. What? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon! Okay, for those of you who may have just been playing this game, when he say he, people may think you're referring to the Colonel. Actually, they're referring to Sigma. Anyway, the skill I just learned, Ryuji. You just press up and a special move button, and you'll be doing an upward Shoryuken. Pretty much what Matt Dragoon was, except you're using a Fire Saber. This is great for uh, getting all the items in Web Spider stage, but at the same time, it's great for the next map we're going to be taking on, which is Frost Warris. This is RVMan 985 I'll see you guys in Part 3. And damn, Zero has a lot of ground to cover. See you guys next time!